Giardio's upcoming Netra MK2 AWNC system will feature a 300 degrees radar coverage with a nose-mounted frontal radar, an indigenous UTOM ASA-based system, detecting threats over 400 kilometers. Built on the Airbus A321 platform, it offers 8-plus hours endurance, far surpassing the older EMB-145 model. Netra MK2 will not only track stealth aircraft and drones, but also guide fighter jets, link with missiles, and provide real-time targeting data, greatly boosting the IF surveillance and combat capabilities. The Indian Army will procure 1,800 next-generation tanks under the Future Ready Combat Vehicle Program, worth Rs 57,000 to 60,000 crore, to replace aging T-72s. Set for induction by 2030, these AI-driven tanks will feature UAV and satellite integration, advanced fire control, anti-drone systems, and protection against modern threats. With a 120mm main gun, enhanced armor, and agility across terrains, the FRCVs mark a major step in self-reliant defense manufacturing, led by DRDO with private sector participation. The Indian Army has showcased a quad-mount version of the Israeli Negev light machine gun for anti-drone operations, especially in Ladakh and the Northeast. Mounted with four synchronized barrels and integrated fire control systems, it provides rapid, sustained fire against low-flying UAVs, achieving a 90% success rate in trials. This innovation complements India's layered defenses, including jammers and lasers, offering a cost-effective solution against small drones used by China and Pakistan in recent conflicts. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has issued a request for quotation to develop key hardware for an ASA radar system for the Navy's utility helicopter maritime. The radar will boost sea surveillance, target tracking, and all-weather operations, replacing current limited systems. Open only to Indian suppliers under Make in India, the project strengthens self-reliance. Once integrated, the ASA will enhance anti-submarine warfare, SAR, reconnaissance and fleet protection, vital for countering growing regional maritime threats. India has approved Project 77, a rupees 40,000 crore plan, to design and build two nuclear-powered attack submarines, with a long-term goal of a 12-boat fleet by 2050, equipped with advanced reactors, stealth, and weapons like BrahMos and hypersonic missiles, these SSNs will rival U.S. and surpass Chinese submarines in speed and stealth, built with 95% indigenous content. The first two subs are expected by 2036-39, marking a major leap in India's maritime dominance. The Indian Air Force is working with a private firm to develop 1,000-kilometer range swarm drones capable of saturation attacks on enemy defenses and command centers. These loitering munitions, or kamikaze drones, can autonomously track and strike targets, offering a cost-effective alternative to missiles. The IF plans to explore air-launched deployment from transport aircraft using rear ramp systems. Inspired by global conflicts and backed by the Atmanirbhar Bharat push, this move could revolutionize India's strike and surveillance capabilities. India's ADA and HAL are working with private firms to develop indigenous ejection seats for fighter jets, replacing imported Martin Baker systems used in Tejas and planned for AMCA. The move aims to enhance self-reliance, avoid foreign sanctions, and secure supply chains. Developing ejection seats is complex requiring years of testing and certification to ensure pilot safety. Partnerships with global firms may help, but India's challenge lies in matching Martin Baker's proven reliability to win pilot confidence. The Indian Navy is set to modernize its fleet with nuclear propulsion systems and electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, EMALS, for its next-generation aircraft carrier and 10 future warships. Nuclear reactors will give vessels unlimited range and endurance, 
while EMALS will enable efficient launches of advanced jets and drones. Developed with DRDO under Make in India, these technologies mark a major leap in India's maritime power, supporting long-range deployments and strengthening its Indo-Pacific presence. The Indian Air Force is shaping a powerful future air combat strategy by combining the Russian Su-57E fifth-generation stealth fighter with the already deployed S-400 air defense system. The S-400 provides a 400 km defensive shield, detecting and neutralizing multiple threats, while the Su-57E adds stealthy, precision strike capability. Together, they create unmatched defensive and offensive dominance, leaving Pakistan's F-16s, JF-17s, and J-10Cs highly vulnerable. This combination could neutralize PAF's mass attack strategies, impose psychological pressure, and secure India's air superiority, making it nearly impossible for Pakistan to counter without major technological upgrades. India's DRDO has improved the Kaveri turbofan engine by raising its bypass ratio to 0.20, marking a key step in enhancing fuel efficiency and performance for indigenous fighters like the Tejas. The bypass ratio, which measures air flow around the engine core, impacts efficiency and noise reduction. Though lower than many global engines such as the EJ200 or GEF414, the Kaveri's design prioritizes high thrust for combat agility. This progress reflects GTRE's efforts to balance efficiency and power, aligning the engine closer to international standards while supporting India's push for self-reliance in aerospace technology. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.